test is in order. With the Bad Batch, there comes a successor to the Clone Wars series on Disney+, Plus, which will introduce us to the transition of the Republic to the Empire. It's now confirmed that the launch of the series will be on a Tuesday, the 4th of May, which is Star Wars Day, with an over 70 minute long pilot episode, already being followed by another episode on Friday, three days later. In my video about which show to be most hyped for, I criticized The Bad Batch for barely giving us any information, and Disney answered me by instantly releasing a second trailer. I mean, maybe not answered me in person, but I mean, who cares, the second trailer is here and <laughs> this one gives us much more information about what we can expect than you think. At the beginning, we see that the Bad Batch is still part of the Imperial Army doing missions for the Imperial Army. We see them fighting droids, which means that there are still separatist cells left in the galaxy, with droids refusing shutdown order which was sent by Anakin. And we know this is possible, for example, from one episode in Star Wars Rebels show. During these afterwar operations, the Bad Batch seem to cause some problems, which will make them undergo a test on Kamino, ordered by Tarkin. Here Tarkin doesn't want to test the ability of the Bad Batch to destroy droids or enemies, but to test their obedience to order and their loyalty to the Empire. On Kamino, we already see that the training droids have been replaced with new robots, including some looking like a predecessor model of the Dark Trooper known from the Mandalorian show or Star Wars Rebels. Also, here on Kamino, we get in contact with a kid named Omega. Omega, as the last letter of the Greek alphabet, means the end or ending. Here, it's probably one of the Kaminoans' last creation, a female clone. Probably because fat stretch gene pool needs to be fixed with other genes or something. Doesn't matter, we get a kid sidekick here who also seems to have some special abilities. Maybe he's even force sensitive, which will open a bunch of cool possibilities for the show. Continuing with the trailer, the Bad Batch is decided to be a threat to the Imperial Army and Tarkin decides to eliminate them which causes the Bad Batch to escape from their Kaminoan home, joining together with Omega. Maybe this is due to a meeting with Saw Gerrera, a known freedom fighter and extremist known from the Clone Wars to the Rogue One spin-off film. He explains the Bad Batch that the Clone Wars is over and offers them a place in his extremist cell. But maybe that's also way later in the storyline, we just don't know yet, it's just a speculation. And continuing with the escape scene, it gets very interesting, because Crosshair doesn't seem to be with the Bad Batch. Which leaves many questions and options. In the first trailer, there is a scene where he attacks clones in some kind of cafeteria, so he's definitely not satisfied with his situation in this army. And this means he could possibly be killed or captured before the events of the escape here, or he's working with the Empire first and later joins the Bad Batch again. Fans already noticed him being absent or separated most of the time the Bad Batch is seen in the trailer and were speculating about his whereabouts in the story arc since the second trailer lies emphasis on this topic even a little more. He's also not seen with the rogue Bad Batch after they left the Imperial Army so I'm excited what fate he is going to face and what part he plays in this story. At next we see Brecker, which acts as a scrapyard for the Republican military and is known from Jedi Fallen Order. Also, we are going to see Captain Rex again here and they seem to join together for some kind of mission here, where they demolish a cruiser turbine, maybe to get some materials or resources here, maybe even materials for the forming of a new rebellion. Speaking of which, we want to see what happened with Ahsoka and Rex after they crashed on the moon at the Clone Wars finale. And I also want them build up some connection to Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order here, who has to work on this junkyard at the beginning. Here we also see Omega shooting with a bow, it's a bow, which were kind of in the direction we saw the Night Sisters use in the Clone Wars. And it's also some kind of hunter style he's going here, so maybe he becomes Crosshair replacement if Crosshair dies in the first part of the story. 
Next we see an oriental styled planet, maybe Sagirian, as we have seen the civilization already in the Clone Wars and there is also a Sagirian man with a whip and animals that would match this civilization. We also get to see Fennec Shand here, she's a slightly underrated character in my opinion, known from the Mandalorian. As predicted, we can assume she's hunting down the Bad Batch for the Empire, which didn't work out well for her in this situation we see. Her working for the Empire was already implied in the Mandalorian, as it said that her bosses were Imperial and now imprisoned by the New Republic. And we also know that she was working with Boba Fett in the past, who was also working for the Empire. Here, she seems like she's open-minded sometimes, also having some sympathy with the Bad Batch as they are mercenaries as she, and maybe she will be thinking about joining together with them sometimes later in the show. We also get to see tanks approaching something that seems like a demonstration in front of an official building. I was first thinking about the Senate on Coruscant because of the statues in the front but it may be also Naboo or Onderon or some completely new planet. We already see here the Imperial clone army oppressing the people. Saw Gerrera, a freedom fighter, explains the Bad Batch then that they can adapt to the new situation and survive or die with the past, which implies that the Bad Batch here may be already the starting point for the new rebellion. So that's everything we know for today guys, I'm very hyped for the show, let me know in the comments what you think about this trailer and what you think is going to happen in the show and I will hope I see you next week.